Hey folks, Adrian the CEO here. And first off, I am super tired. I've been running all day, but um, we are heading back to Union Grove today um, just because I've been so busy to go help them with their first live stream using the equipment. They've had some issues with their sound. Um, it was mainly some configuration issues with the X32, but want to just bring you behind the scenes with some folks who all they've been doing is live streaming with an iPad and want to get up get them up to speed to make sure that they can live stream with the equipment that they got. So I think I got everything with me. Um, I also got a change of um, clothes because I need to buy a wall mount for their TV because we can't find the screws that went for an older one to another TV. So we're going to stop by Lowe's on the way and try and get them up to speed. I'm going to pat my pockets looking for my phone. I'm like, AJ, you're recording with your phone. You can tell I'm tired. So <laughs> anyway, let's head to Lowe's and then let's head down to Union Grove. All right, folks, we are here, and I think, good morning. This, good morning, and I think the sleep is catching up to me, so, uh, sure. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's get inside here and get everything squared away for uh, getting them live streaming. See, you would almost think that if you had another monitor, actually, instead of a wall mount, if you had like a computer, a, yeah. well, actually a computer mount that will stick up here and then the monitors are right here. So you have all this space of like, if you had the monitor like mounted up, so it's up here and it's on a, a pole stuck into here, you got all this space to move up under it. I mean, because the, the mount I have is it can only go so far. I mean, it'll, it would be on the wall right here and you can tilt it. But, I mean, you're not going to be able to tilt it as much as those. But, I mean, it would be up off there. But. So, yeah, boys and girls, that's what we got going on. And I'm sorry. Yes, I do look tired because I am tired. <laughs> but. We're gonna see what we could do. Um, the main thing is the sound is sounding better. Um, they did a test stream, and it looks like I got a bump right here. I don't know. Anyway, um, we got a. They did a test stream this morning. Sound sounds fine. Still having an issue where the sound is not coming through the speakers downstairs, but they're bringing in the people who set up the board to take a look at that. Um, and yeah, let's see where we go from there. All right, so it is 9:53. So we're gonna. Do on air now did you already have this set up through Facebook um, yes okay yes. so if we let's go to Facebook first oh no this oh, is the no, test no, we just did it. that's yeah. fine okay. all right so we're just gonna turn home create a live stream <laughs> we're gonna go live now yeah. give me a second we're using our stream key. We're using persistent key, but just copy it just in case. Next, we give it a title. So now it's waiting. We come in here, verify our key, which is the same. You're gonna do on air. We're getting sound, as you can see. We're live. And once we hit this. So now we are live, live. So everybody can see what is going on. So we're now going to help produce. Well, actually, I'm, I'm going to let her produce everything herself. So I'm just going to sit here and watch. Yay! <laughs> All right. So what, we, so what we're going to do right now, that's live right now. So we're going to just adjust our shot right now to the band here, which can't be seen. Um, 
can actually use the front camera for that. So what we would do is prep that one. Again, go to number two. Uh, the speakers in a way. So we could do something like this if we wanted to. And then um, we got two minutes, so we still got time. Oh no, you're fine. So we got two minutes. So right now, if we wanted to, we got the shot on them, but we can't go to so far because the speaker is in the way of that shot. So. This is a hindsight Tony 20 type of thing to where another camera on the other side would not uh, uh, block that. But this is, this is why I always say when y'all install cameras, you know, a lot of people are saying, oh, we only need one. But then when you start producing it, then it's like, oh yeah, we could do this, we could do that. So. And Isaiah 43 is your theme for the year, I believe. And, uh, I was taught by the late Dr. Mal Jones, you have a theme and you ought to preach the same. And I think every once in a while the theme ought to be lifted up in front of us. Yeah. Remind us so we can about let go of the former thing. Let go of the thing that you didn't uh, seem to get right. Another way to let show this go. is with the super Amen. source. And we crop the end uh, Forget about and the have the scripture on the other side. Can't move it because a whole lot of baggage. God will. I said, God will. Want me to do it? Say it. Oh, shut Forget me. It's through the blood that now we can come boldly to the throne of grace to find help in our time of need. And so, God, we pray even now for Sister Carolyn who's coming. God, you know what she stands in the need of. You know what she's dealing with. You know who she's representing right here on today. And so, God, I pray now that you would touch her from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Every name that's listed on our secret shutting list, every prayer request that has been requested in our prayer boxes, God, we turn it over to you. We still believe, God, that you're healed. All right, so in here, if you ever have a moment in presenter that somebody is going and referencing scripture all this time um, and they're just quick fire out of the way, the easiest way is to go hear the scripture. Now, be mindful. You have to have this. This is doing a lower third. So reference the video I talked about how to set up lower thirds with the DSK in the ATEM. So we have that set up. The DSK, we would come up here to scripture. And we have everything set. We would search for our scripture here, our translation, but we set it as lower third, hide the reference, hide translation, because that's what how they wanted it here. And then your background is none. That's how the DSK will work. I just like to put the entire um, book and chapter so I can hop in between anything I want here. As you can see, I have DSK on, so I can jump to any scripture on the fly right here and that's not adding it to our cue list this is just doing it on the fly because if i turn the dsk off nothing shows but my preview is right there so i can come up here pick whatever scripture i want and whenever i'm ready because they're doing on the fly i would just hit the dsk on hit the wrong button DSK on right there and now we got it shown and I can one off change anything here on the fly and it's all right there this is for your quick quick switching back and forth now ministers pastors please help your media ministry by letting them know if you're going to do a bunch of scriptures let them know ahead of time because this is you're jumping around doing this it's a skill that all your media should know but it helps if you know what scripture you're going to reference to at least let them know so it's in their cue list so you don't have to do this 
but that's not an excuse for the media. Y'all should be uh, um, capable of switching to this stuff on the fly at any point in time. But it's both parties can help each other. Media be prepared to be able to do this. Presenter, proclaim, open LP, worship extreme, presenter, whatever software that you use. You should be proficient at that. But at the same time, leaders, media, I mean, ministers, pastors, if you know what scripture you're going to do, let your people know ahead of time. So that way they can be prepared. All right. So after this service is over, we were doing a little quick acquainting. I'm gonna come back and mount this TV up here. So this is be up out of the way, and then we go from there.